Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This right here is Kareem in the morning. At this time, I will run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. The Omega Studio News and Talk Show T content warning over the age of 18. Warning. The views expressed and opinions expressed on this program is just that views and opinions. Don't take any of this serious, but I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again, I'm Kareem Clemens, and thank you so much for being here, right here, right now. Uh, I'm going to actually, uh, let me see. Uh, I don't want to bring, I like, I like that one, yeah, but. All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, get up, do your thing. Now, listen, first of all, I want to say uh, that there has been a lot happening when it comes to breaking news. A lot of things been going on from the last time. I don't really have a story that um, uh, I, I planned out, but I wanted to do one of my segments that I did last week on, you know, going to the tab and, you know, talking about the breaking news. But before I do that, I want to just go ahead and talk about a little bit about what happened on my last episode with Cream in the Morning. Now, again, uh, everything that I say here are just my opinions and my opinions only. No one gives me the right but the Lord above. Praise God for more blessing flow. And I just give you the opinions and I just talk about, you know, the the, the, the things that are out there in social media. So I did speak about the Rittenhouse case, Kyle Rittenhouse. I already knew by watching the trial online that they were going to find this man not guilty. Why? Because it almost takes me back to a Trayvon Martin slash Dumberman. Okay, I don't want to say his name, where they charged him with the, and the, the evidence that they had, but the, it wasn't enough evidence to hold weight to the charge. That's why they found Dumberman not guilty. So in this case, uh, when you look at Rittenhouse, uh, for me, you got to look at the laws. Uh, if you was to be somewhere in, you know, let's say New York and have an AR-15 and you kill someone, two people on that, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to claim uh, self-defense. And you're going to be actually charged with having an AR-15 because you can't have it, the laws in the state of you know, New York. But if you go to somewhere like uh, 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 where he was at, okay, there are rules where you can have an AR-15 and you can claim self-defense, okay? And not only that, you know, uh, you have places like the gun right actions that is going to award this man, Rittenhouse, an AR-15 for using their AR-15 to defend and killing these people uh, because he was acquitted of this murder. 
So my thing is, is that I know a lot of people is upset. A lot of people are mad. A lot of people are pissed off. But you got to look at this also, too. When the judge, when the judge, and if you follow the trial on YouTube, okay, and they do have, you know, clips on there where you can watch, okay, and see maybe the whole, you know, the whole trial, uh, you can see that the judge, the, he threw something out, okay? He threw something out. I don't want to spoil you anything. He threw something out. And when he threw something out, that was the, that was significant weight that the prosecutor had or could have used in this case. And then some other things came out. But you got to understand, when someone is brought before a court of law, the prosecutor has their evidence. The defense has to prove beyond reasonable doubt that you did not commit the crime that you're being charged that stands before you. And in this case, there has been a lot that has been invested in that case, especially, you know, uh, him alone. So you never know. Okay. You never know. And they found them not guilty. So the next thing is, would they pull another move like they did with OJ Simpson? Okay. OJ Simpson, when he was found not guilty for killing those people back in 1995, okay, uh, they went after his silver suit. They went after the silver penalty. They, they said they are going to sue him for everything that he got, okay? So my thing, I think, are they going to do this to Rittenhouse? Are they going to sue him and hold him liability for the death of the two people he killed and the injury of the other person who was injured, okay? So with that being said, this is going to tie into this breaking news. I don't know, but I do know that this uh, there is some breaking news uh, that is coming out of 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 um of um social media saying, uh, and I don't know if this had to do with the um the um the verdict or they just stupid up in West Constant, okay? Because this is. Everything is tying in West Constant, okay? So they're saying that on Sunday, a person drove an SUV and plowed into a crowd of people, killing five and injuring more than 40 people. They have video of this, and they're saying that they have a person to custody. Bitch, hold on. I'm just really disgusted because it's a lot of stuff happening up there. It's a lot of stuff. The whole Rittenhouse shit happened up there. Now you got this happened up there. You had the shooting that happened up there where the officer shot the man in the back because that's where it stemmed from uh, the whole uh, 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 protest, okay? So it's crazy. What's going on up there? Did, did they really defund the police up there and, and they just actually, you know, doing a, doing anything? I need that. I need your co-host. I need to uh, see if I can try to get Princess Diamond to co-host with me. Uh, I need a co-host. So, if anything, uh, this is happening, and I can tell you that the police are investigating this. They are now saying that there possibly could be more that's injured. Possibly more. We don't know the condition of the people who. The 40 people, but we do know that at least five people are deceased. Uh, let's see. This is coming from social media. There's a video of this online. And I'm just now seeing this for the first time. I will not show it up here. You have to go up there. They're saying that this is the Christmas parade. Oh. Oh my God, I just seen that. They like they had this all on camera. They calling this the Christmas tragedy, the Christmas parade tragedy. At least five dead, 40 plus injured in an SUV plowing in Wisconsin parade. This is breaking news. Breaking news. So let me see. Do they have a person in custody? I am seeing right here. Uh, I don't know if they have a person in custody, but I did hear breaking news. Okay, here we go. The SUV appeared to smash through more than barricades as it sped away 
Police eventually recovered the vehicle and they say they have one person of interest in custody. One person of interest is in custody. Okay, so that is breaking news right here, right now. Okay. Uh I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, let me see. I don't know. They not. You have to go to social media to see the video. But I'm not going to show the video up here in Kareem in the morning. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but that's it's breaking news right now. We don't know if this person is white, black. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe this person may feel that they may probably want to get some fair treatment. Like how, hey, shit, if this man could go down and gun down two people or, you know, three people, two people die and then uh, be found not guilty, then let me go in my car and run some people over and see if I could be found not guilty. It just keeps showing. It never, never fails. You know, I take apart from the war. She said, and quit trying to look under my dress to see my nipples. Okay. So um, let me just go ahead and talk about this next story real quick. I want to talk about this right now. Let me pull up my screen again because I just love my screen. Praise God for my blessed love. Okay. So let me just go ahead and talk about this real quick. Uh, when I talked about this in Kareem in the morning uh, on last episode, I asked the governor of Oklahoma to call me now. Call me now. Call me now. Governor of Oklahoma, call me now. Governor Skitz called me, and uh, basically we have also want to tell you breaking news if it hasn't already been put out on the air already. The governor called me, and we have now granted, he has granted clemency for Julius Jones. Now, uh, I want to make a correction. I did say that um, I did say that uh, it was a possibility that he would get clemency plus uh, the life in prison with the possibility of parole. But it has been said that he was given clemency with life without the possibility of parole. And then I didn't even realize as I was deep going deeper into the situation that this is another case where it has to deal with a, 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 a former athlete, a football star. And, you know, you look at the whole Riggs case where he was just charged back in, no, well, at the beginning of November when he was driving his car, he mowed down, killing a woman and her dog on a, a highway in Las Vegas. And then you go back to the infamous Aaron Hernandez, like, unbelievable. Like, what is going on here? But yes, uh, Julia Jones, they 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 commuted it to a life sentence. I know he happy. So I think, and I'm, I'm not really sure because I haven't really, you know, uh, read about the whole uh, whether or not the Innocent Project will, was stepping up to look at his case. If you want us to look at your case, we'll look at your case, okay? Uh, we're talking about Kareem in the morning or Prison View. We have Prison View Fridays, okay? L let that not, okay? Because we was trying to do that real quick because uh, before the pandemic hit, because we were reaching out to people, men and women in the Department of Corrections, trying to get their story if you wanted to talk on social media, write us. We'll put your stuff on air. If you had cases that you wanted to get look at, looked at, we can direct you into the right uh, 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 direction. You know, if you feel like you want to open up. And, and we were actually reaching out, Daquan, Al, you guys know, reach out to people who were life sentenced. And then we didn't realize that the people who were life sentenced, they moved. So we will get returned or they will they have gotten it and then we go back up there, they have a whole different address. 
then the whole pandemic hit and it was like it, people weren't receiving mail so but yes if you need your case looked at and you need somebody to need you know their case to be looked at and there's some problems in it and, and you you can be a lifer it doesn't matter as long as you're not on death row you could be on death row too okay uh call me now call me now as the late cleo would say call me now okay so yeah so thank governor skits for granting clemency for julius jones Just gotta put a pen in there, like what the heck? Okay, so let me just go ahead and talk a little bit more about uh this next story. I want to actually spread my light on the fact that because I did speak about it on my show on the last episode about uh uh the young rapper, young Dolph, aka Adolf Thatcher Jr., who was shot and killed in Memphis. I do want to add some more. I did tell y'all that he was a philanthropist. And he was an entrepreneur. Uh, let's not forget the fact that while in the, up to his recent most earliest part, you know, his death, uh, you know, most recent business of what he was doing because they killed him in a cookie shop. Uh, he was doing things that other people, you don't really see other people doing. And that is really giving back to your community from which you come from. Okay. So we have now learned, or the uh, Kareem in the morning have now learned that Young Dolph, he was an owner. He was an owner of over 100 properties around Memphis. So they're saying that he was a real real estate mogul. All right. So that's what I'm saying. Like maybe those people were living in the homes and they would just, you know, he would be the, the, the head guy over it and instead of paying those other people they could pay him but that is that just shows how you know this man lived his life like he was really giving back you know to the people to his community you feel me and it's saying right here social media is saying that he owned rapper young Dolph, the late the late rapper young Dolph was not just a successful rapper he was also a real estate mogul social media have learned uh, we do know that, uh, and how do I, how do I see, okay. oh. so, so yeah, so I guess they know that because of certain you know, people who testify or maybe people who have explained, we don't know, but we do know this, that the, uh, the legendary Memphis rapper, Young Glove, was tragically shot and killed in his hometown, uh, which we already know that he was killed in a cookie shop. And I, I said it then and I'll say it again, bitch. Uh, somebody had to know something, okay? If you really want to get serious here. Somebody had to know something because, you know, who knew he was going to the cookie shop? Somebody knew his itinerary. I said it then and I'll say it again, bitch. It be those ones who you will least expect it. Like you would say, nah, it wouldn't be him. It wouldn't be her. And come to find out, it'll be that person. They be your right hand man, and then turn around and fuck you royally. How should how do, how does she say it? Fuck you royally. Screw you in Macy's window without Vaseline. Okay, so it is just real crazy how you know if you look at the fact that when Nipsey Hussle was killed, you don't you don't you don't think if Nipsey Hussle was alive and he seen the person who killed him. You would be like, yo, I know him. I seen him. Dollar. Oh my God. Big L. Oh shit. Tupac. Oh my goodness. Biggie. Oh my God. When they, if they was alive and they seen the people who killed them, they know. They know. 
They know. So young Dolph, if he was here, he will see the person who killed him. And trust me, Memphis police is looking for this person. Trust me. And if anybody had anything to do with this or anything, uh, if anybody had anything to do with this, they will find those who are responsible. And if anybody knows something about this and you want to give closure to his two kids and to his wife, call the police department as an anonymous person and let them know, okay, what you know so they can bring this fucker to justice. Okay, uh, so next I'm going to really talk about, actually, that's pretty much it. Well, no, 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 no. I want to um, spread light on this factor here. I just want to put this in our archives. As of this day, today, okay, 329.5 million residents live in the United States of America. I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so without further ado, let me just go ahead and roll my uh, chicken thug, cash at Kareem, email Kareem underscore at AOL.com, on Instagram, Black College Zoo, or Twitter, Vegas Studio News. And also, if you would like to show your support and donate to the cause, the cash app is chicken thug. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for being here. You know, I just have to make sure that I have to do this correct because sometimes I don't want to mess up. I really don't want to mess up. You know, when you're doing stuff, you got time in and then it is what it is. But, um, yeah. But, yes, yeah, so, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me not also, uh, let me spread light on that, too. I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in to the infrastructure bill that I have presented and it's all on social media. Okay, that's what I'm about to say, you know? It's all good. But I'm Kareem Clemens. Thank you guys so much for being here. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one.